Working with Michael was great. I mean, he was the busiest guy you could imagine. When you write and direct and edit, and Michael had the entire vision. He's he's our visionary. Everything he touches turns to gold. I'm, that kind of thing, yeah, you know. Yeah. That, that like he's he's got yeah, it. Yeah. You know, and the it is her. Did you really let go of it, or did you slide him down? No, let it let go. Of it. You oh just really let go of it because it looked like he was slid down. Well, it could be worse. I want him to come up on your laundry list of snack foods. Twinkies, yo-yos, cupcakes, ding-dongs. So amp it up, amp it up. I'll tell you if it's too much. Do one where you say, I should have gone to college. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I should have gone to college. Well, Michael Glover, as the writer, director, cameraman, has a vision of, of how this is going to look when it's when it's complete. So he a lot of times he'll walk us through the scene and show us where to start, where we cross, and and physicalize the whole the whole uh, scene for us. When you start to leave, he pulls you back and goes, "Hey, you know, I'm not going to take this. You walk through. You go like, boy, are you in a bad mood? I want you to walk over here, and we're going to put something here for you to grab." It becomes like a, like a dance. First one, do this this bit, all these things, you know. And the second one goes like this, and pushing into this and all that stuff. And you keep it quiet, kid. Watch your step. I know what I'm doing. The red button. The red button. The red button. I knew that. Apology accepted. In creating the characters, Michael became the hairdresser and cut Sarah's hair. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ow. Ow what? What's ow? You pulled a piece. Okay. It's nice and black. We're, gonna have to, we're probably going to have to blacken you again, I have a feeling, before the uh, it warehouse burns. stuff. It really burns and cut my hair for the Henry Lime hairdo. <laughs> That's looking pretty good, isn't it? So he became Mr. Michael, and then after that we, we started calling him Hair Director. <laughs>